What's up, y'all? I'm Rob. And I'm Noel, and we're uh, two of Black Jack Billy. We actually met John Marks through um, some people that work with us, and John Marks is the, the guy in Nashville that makes all the decisions and uh, went into his office. His office is right there in Bridgestone, the arena right across from the Ryman, and sat and played him a couple of songs, and uh, he said, man, I dig you guys, man. I like what y'all are doing, and uh, fortunately, he started spinning the booze cruise, and it's been uh, a little over a year now, I guess. Uh, honestly, we were just goofing around. Uh, most of the songs we write just come from us talking about something and getting into it, and somebody pulls out a guitar and we start in. But uh, we had been down to play spring break in Florida at uh, Panama City at a club called Spinnaker, and it's just absolutely nuts. And we just kind of wrote about some of the stuff we've seen down there and uh, our own experiences at spring break. Just kind of started flowing out. and. Uh, before we knew it, it was over and done, and we was having fun with it on stage. Damage, damage was done. There's nothing we can do. No looking back. First of all, we're going to watch Kip. Yeah, Big fans of Kip, like Kip, man. Uh, One Republic's playing later. We've, uh, we've, we got to see uh, One Republic play at um, Whiskey Jam in Nashville at a club about the size of this microphone uh, called Winners, and they're just phenomenally talented band, man. Looking forward to seeing them later for sure. And Kip Moore, of course. I mean, it, everybody loves Kip. He's so cute. He's so handsome. <laughs> um, you know, I don't know. For us, really, we just uh, we, we liked what we were doing and we believed in it. And so uh, anybody that would book us, we'd go play. And sometimes that meant, you know, within the first six months of getting together, we, uh, we played shows for five people in small little rooms. And we played uh, Bethel, New York with Leonard Skinner in front of 20,000 and everything in between. So... Um, I'm sure it'll be like everybody else and everybody says it's overnight, but it's always usually a lot harder than people know and a lot more time and effort into it. And we're having a blast, man. We really haven't even dissected it yet. <laughs> I didn't see it. I didn't even saw it. Drummers are the worst people ever. He's fired. We can't fire him. He's already in the crew, man. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I was just going to do a walkthrough. What do you have to save yourself? Brad Cummings, drummer of Blackjack Billy. He spilled my coffee! Hopefully not outwardly, but... Um, growing this way. <laughs> this is definitely growing. Uh, man, you know, we're songwriters at heart, and uh, I think as a songwriter, you're always wanting to write better songs and surround yourself with better songwriters. And, uh, you know, we the more people that want to come see us play, the better, the, the better songs we can write, the better we can get musically. I mean... We want to be the best band that we can possibly be in every aspect. We want to do better interviews. Uh, <laughs> help us! You do a better job of crashing interviews, apparently. That was oh, you're really good at crashing interviews. So, and anyway, man, I mean, it, obviously you want to sell records and you want to have fans come and see you play, but I feel like if we just keep writing songs, the best songs we can write, then everything else will take care of itself. This is three out of four of Blackjack Billy. Hey, thank you, Milwaukee. Thank you, Summerfest. We love you guys. Can't wait to come back. We're going to have a blast.